Okay, hi everyone. Um, this is uh, the aftermath of me attempting to make a gaming video using these Baroque rules. Uh, so I think now I'll just do a quick kind of review of, of my attempt to play the rules. Um, so Baroque is a set of uh, miniature war game rules, obviously for late Renaissance Baroque period. Um, I think it's designed for kind of larger battles, uh, like what you might see in a kind of a Warlord Black Powder or Pike and Shot scale of game on a larger table. Uh, here, I only have a 3 by 4 table, so I was trying to keep it more manageable. Uh, unfortunately, with these rules, some things are not very clear. So my goal, I just wanted to play one turn just to run through it and, and show you guys in the channel because I don't... I haven't seen these rules on YouTube uh, game uh, played very often, so I thought let's give it a try and and you know go through it. Um, but uh, it was just not very clear. Uh, like especially the main thing, the main issue I had was not um, initiative or the deployment, and that was all pretty straightforward. Uh, no no problems there. Uh, and a lot of the rules are not are written clearly, so it's that's not really an issue. But the problem I had was just the army lists are not really obvious what the um what what the different uh, stats are supposed to be exactly, and um, that that could be that's probably my my fault uh, of not not reading carefully enough or not understanding, but. Um, you know, the, the abbreviations just are not very intuitive. Uh, and I don't know, uh, like, what these are supposed to mean. Um, so I was not able to run through even a single turn, as I would have liked, uh, to, to to just try, try them out. Um, and the other... The other uh, kind of issue with these rules is something in war games I don't really like, which is to make it more flexible with the different miniatures and different basing, um, you don't have like preset measurements. So you have um, basically a, they use, you use half of the frontage of their recommended uh, frontage to determine what what is one baroque unit one bu that's like kind of the basic measurement so uh for my for my ottomans here and my also my Habsburgs because they're based on these uh 40 by 40 mil bases they're a little over uh 18 centimeter frontage so they're 20 centimeter frontage so half would be 10 obviously which is a nice round number um but it just uh when I was trying to pre-measure some some stuff before I, I thought I was going to play, um, the you know I quickly realized that uh, that my table is just too small. And again, it's not a fault of the rules writers; that's my fault for not having a large enough table. Uh, but I just don't really like this kind of system. It's just my personal taste. I would just prefer that you know they stuck with a sort of established measurement of, you know, this is what, you, this is how far you can move and that sort of thing. Um, just because in terms of, I want to get the game going and, and it didn't really work out. Uh, so I guess we could call this, uh, kind of my, a review of the Baroque rules and, uh, I can't really give it a fair review because I wasn't really able to play it. Um, and, but for now, I, I just am not really, it didn't really like these, um, and maybe I will change my mind if I could, you know, read up more on them and, and play them more. But uh, compared to Pikeman's Lament, uh, which, you know, I can get, you know, I was able to pick those rules up really quickly, uh, and, and honestly, I probably have them, you know, they're, they're simple enough that I have most of them more or less memorized by now. Um, you know, I prefer something like that. Uh, so, uh, you know, check out Baroque if, if this is something that appeals to you. Uh, for me right now, I don't, I'm not really 
Yeah, I can't really get into it. Uh, just doesn't really work for me. Um, I wish I could run through a game, uh, but like I said, I couldn't even get through a single turn. And, uh, you know, I just want to stress that that's probably more my own fault than the rules writers because, I mean, the the, the rules are written very clearly. Uh, there's no problem with, like, understanding what they're supposed to say or anything like that. It's just uh, not... Um, it's just there's a lot here to uh, to take in, and uh, I don't have, um, you know, I wasn't able to make the video successfully, basically. So uh, that uh, I'll just cut, I'll just uh, wrap that up here, and I think uh, since I've got the table set up, I will do uh, another video of uh, just some some Pikeman's Lament, get some get some dice rolling again on the channel, and um, yeah, well, thanks for watching this one kind of a kind of a bummer video but it's okay um and i'll uh talk to you guys in the next one